Once upon a time, in a remote region of an obscure galaxy, there existed a rather ordinary middle-aged star, circled by a system of nine known planets, most of which had no life at all. This planet was too hot. This planet was too cold. But this planet was just right. And there evolved an enormous variety of living things. There were big things and little things, fat things and skinny things, things that swam in the water and things that flew in the air. But among all these things, the most remarkable was a bipedal carbon-based mammal known for its preoccupation with fornication and shiny objects. Curiously, this animal was able to dominate all the other forms of life through its relatively massive brain capacity and opposable thumbs. It also built giant buildings and sent machines way up in the sky, and therefore it held itself in the highest regard. Unfortunately, however, because it was so smart, some animals occasionally tried to think too much and experienced serious mental breakdowns, which could lead to dizziness, catatonia, loss of appetite, and that sickening feeling that the universe is out to get you. And that is where our story begins. from there's no motels around here for miles uh you lost want to buy a map you in a car accident or something well i don't know what to do now i can't ask you if you want your oil changed that's pretty much all i get to say to people around here everybody's in a hurry to go someplace else want to buy a soft drink and boy they're off <laughs> oh, it is pretty bright isn't it nine o'clock and it's already a hundred degrees yeah i gotta be a fool to work here yeah. Hey, can I sell you a pair of sunglasses? Well, nothing too fancy, but they'll do the trick. Yeah, yeah, just keep looking at the sun. Right. Now look at these babies. Try these on. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, let me get these on. Here you go. Yeah, huh? You like that, huh? See how those work? <laughs> you like those, don't you? Cuts out all the unnecessary VU waves. The sun is a star. Close up. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, there'll be four dollars for the glasses. Okay, okay, forget it. Just keep the glasses. I don't understand much about money anyway. I mean, a dollar is always a dollar, right? I spend it, someone else gets it, they spend it. So even though I no longer have it, it's still worth a dollar. In fact, it's spent so many times, it's worth more and more dollars. I'd say that each dollar is worth probably more like a few million dollars. So here's what I'm thinking, okay? Why can't I just keep my dollar and show it every time I want something? You know, I walk in, I want to buy something, I just show my dollar. But instead of giving it away, I keep it. I show it to prove I have it, but I keep it, and everyone else gets to keep theirs. We'd all be rich. It sounds a lot simpler that way, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Boy, he didn't look well at all. <laughs> 